when Cam Art Reduction is to write over and over again, appear yeah. over and over again on screen. But we can get it to fill up and then it'll just stop. You want it to continue? Yeah. Did you want to have uh, Cam Art Productions kind of in columns? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember, do you remember what we had oh, to put on the outside no, of the yeah. comma? You got it. Put a comma there, first of all. Okay, now I type them in. That pause is too short. Yeah, That's okay. pretty. You want it to be more or less than what you see there? More. more. Okay, what do you have to do to the, act, to the four next loop then? Um, make it more, make it 23 more. How many more seconds would you think it would take, Margaret? Well, you should add about two, two, seconds. two more seconds. Okay, that. So how much? How much? How much would two, two more seconds? Two five hundred. Two five hundred. What do you think? Yeah, it is better. better. Yeah. You're gonna mm -hmm. have to pay her consultant fees now. Right? <laughs> nah, it's just a plan. When I get home, I'm gonna miss the people here at camp because I've grown attached to the people here. I wish I didn't have to go home. I just wish I just stayed here. I love horses. They're one of my favorite animals. I can't really say what I like better, the horseback riding or using the computers, but computers I think are all around fun. Except when they, you're trying to tell the computer to do one thing and it just doesn't understand you, it won't do it. List the program again. I'd like you to make that pause 5,000. You think that'll slow it down? You don't think it'll slow it down? Why not? It's, it's more, it's just going over the seconds. Well, tell, when does it reach line 100? It doesn't reach it, <laughs> right? It never reached it. That's why even putting 5,000 wouldn't have any effect. I like it. I like it, too. That's nice. Okay. Margaret lives and breathes computers. She'd be in here 24 hours a day if we'd let her. And her programs are just fabulous. When you consider she's only had two weeks of computer instruction before she came here, what she's doing now is just fabulous. I've come to computer camp to learn about computers because they're really interesting and I can just, I love designs, so I love to just let my mind wander on designs on the computer. Margarita, time to go to horseback riding. It's really exciting because it's amazing to see on the computer what you can type in and words and letters and numbers can come out to a really beautiful design. I think the computer is one of the more fantastic things in the world. I'm very happy teaching computers. The concentration is not on the machine, it's on what's going into the program, that, that message. And I think if we can get that through to them in the next, well, in the course of this computer camp, I think we will have done a great deal. We may not teach them a whole bunch of programming, but when they leave here, they'll have an affinity for the machine, they'll have a, well, they'll have a love for it, and they'll, they'll use it the way somebody else would use a paintbrush.
and they'll know that they can express themselves through it. Do you have something that goes after this? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-oh, that's what I can hardly wait for. Oh, okay. Welcome to a Canmar production. Uh-huh. No, no. Forever friends. Okay. Smile. I like that. Neat. Together forever. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. And I've never seen anybody do anything quite like that. That's strictly Candy and Maria. Nobody's ever done it before. You know? That's really great. <laughs> keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. Every time I see even more, that's great. Absolutely. Yeah, what you got? <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> yeah, yeah, we miss you. Huh? Mommy! Yeah. yeah! Yeah, we have a really nice time. It's really fun and everything. But we miss you guys. Yeah, we miss you. We, we miss us! Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, we miss you. Sir, Wait. would you do me a favor? Oh, yeah. For a couple of minutes, would you show me how to play this game? Now? Yeah, right now. Tell me. These, these are the centipedes, and every time you shoot one, they turn and they, they, they split in half. Okay. You can hit the one right behind the head guy, and there's Medusa. Now, if they come across and hit a mushroom, they turn a different color. Right. And then now, if a centipede hits it, let it, me, let it me does say go something back here. and forth like it does. Just I'm, straight I'm being overloaded, which means you're giving me too much information too fast. So, Would I think you like maybe, to learn by playing? Yeah, I, I think maybe the first step is just to get me to shoot it. Oh, okay. And I'm supposed to aim at the centipede? Yeah, I'm going to be first here. I'll shoot No, I'm going to be first. Okay. okay. Or, do you, or would you prefer to demonstrate? I'll run a demonstration. You're about to do a little demo. Okay. There's a definite connection between the games and learning. They get into a state of complete relaxation with the computer. So if they can associate the computer with relaxation, and then later on they're, they're associating it with work, quote unquote, I think that's a good crossover. Okay. How about you over here, JJ? Vince, you ready with yours? That sounds like centipede. Sounds like centipede for sure. When the beals, is beals strong. One, keep, keep changing those variables and you're going to get it. There's an infinite variety of things you can get when, you, when you've got three different variables and you keep changing them. Number, um, uh, okay, let's, let's make it a smaller number, like yeah. 10. Okay, we're going to try something here now. Could you all listen? Maria. Lender. Barry. Rick. Vince. Enrique. Tim. That's for me. When what they're doing in the, in the regular class is so much fun that that becomes free time, then you know you're, you've really made it with them. Look, 
So you went over 39. 39 is this way. 39 is this way. Then you went down 19. What? Put 100 in again. Don't tell me. Look at this dot. What's that dot? 19. How many is it over? 39. No, just that one dot. That mm -hmm. one. No, it's not. <laughs> Zero. Right. Now, how many is it down? 19. Okay. But I'm over here. I know. You want to you wanna go to zero nineteen. Tell the computer what to do, and that comes from from me. From inside, I think it comes. What's up in the screen? It's me, Enrique. Yeah, I said that's me. Oh, I look at I, what I did. Uh, make me feel proud. July 20th. Dear Mom, I am really enjoying this camp very much. In this camp, there are lots of friends too. What I like best about it are the computers. That's pretty fun. You see, I am really enjoying this camp, and I will see you the 14th of August. Love, Enrique. A mechanical turtle. We can say go five or go ten, and we can have it turn. Now, this turtle, his brain says go and turn. You've got to type it in. So uh, why don't you type run and then press the start key? Oh, oh. <sighs> right on. There it goes. What's gonna happen? Let's just. Do it a little it. more. It'll keep going. Oh, yeah. Don't have to run over the turtle. Oh, I don't want to run over the turtle. A little more. Uh, He's coming but, back. But now the turtle's coming back. It's we got to turn that other turtle around. Turn around. Turn around. Oh! It's going to be the next Olympics. Look at the length of that stride. <laughs> Who's going to win the race? The mechanical turtle? No. Oh, or the live turtle? It's winning. I think the, the live turtle is winning. Maria, go straight. Let him win. What's the largest possible number of degrees that you could turn if you were a turtle? And and before you got back to the where you started from? Two fifty or three fifty nine. Right. That, and to make a complete turn, what would it be? Three sixty. Okay. Uh, if I said to you, or if you said, turn 720, t would you turn 720 degrees for me right now? There's 360. Okay, so its final position is the same as the first position. Yeah. So when you turn 12 million... Teachers who don't know anything about computers naturally have a fear of them, as much as they would have a fear of anything that they don't know anything about. But the computer is never going to replace a teacher. You can never replace the human element. I think this is where the art of teaching comes in. When, when the computer gets a line of 400, okay, it starts this loop, right? What happens when it gets to graphic zero? Does it stay on the screen? No. Disappears. It goes away. Okay, graphic zero dis makes everything else disappear. Mm -hmm. 
and puts you into this mode. And when you go back oh, okay. up and go down yeah. again, then what happens? I, I put a... Uh, it didn't do anything. It just does the same thing over. I put a uh, four next loop down here. But wait, you I try can't... ever so much to let them figure out the process. Let them analyze in their own mind what it is that they want the computer to do. You did not say that. I said I was going to do today. Do okay. Today. Okay, we only have a couple of seconds here anyway. Why don't you just finish it up then? Okay, but put, put it in. Uh, you can't put it. Just put your disc in. I had my disc in. My no, uh, not when picture. I was doing the things on the, with the, the wire. When you were doing that picture, yes, but not when I was doing mine. I wanted to get mine back. I don't get what you right. mean. Here's what. I don't get what you mean. Remember, you won't be able to do separate ones. You're going to have to, uh, in in some respects, listen first, okay? In some things, you can do your own. In some things, you have to get it together, because otherwise, you'll never finish it. The way these fellows are working, the way most people are working, especially in the other class, you know Gene? But he wants different things that I don't want. Okay, listen. Listen. This is a team effort. You're going to do some things individually and some things together. Right? I'll bet you you come up with something that'll be different than everybody else here. Oh, well. I'll tell you what, since you guys are having so conflicts, since you guys are having conflicts, why don't you do like the cover page, and you can do it the way you want to. How's that sound? You can do the cover page, and you do the cover page. I wish you could drop pictures on the front. I'd rather do that. He gets frustrated at times, but I think it's because he's 13 years old. And how many challenges does a 13-year-old have in his life? And even with JJ, I don't see him really fighting that much with himself, so much as being challenged and not quite knowing how to deal with the challenge. If I could draw anything in the world, probably the you know architecture and stuff, bridges. Because I want to, I want to be an architect, and I want to learn some things about architecture if I can. I had, I had thoughts of quitting, but then I said, I don't want to be a quitter because I want to keep going. If I can make that do where the, the words come in, uh, uh, when uh, where the words are gone, then that thing comes down, the stars come down, and all this stuff comes, comes yeah, out. Yeah, you can do that. You can do that. That would be neat. The computer's not there to call them names. The computer's not even really there to challenge them. They have to challenge the computer. And if they challenge the computer, they'll get a challenge back. You can't really leave a program in the middle because you don't know what the end is going to be. But now I figured out what was wrong with the bottom line. It said position 09 and then position 011. So it didn't put the bottom line. So I had to erase the bottom line and put it three programs on it. Finally got it. I figured out what was happening with it. When you get it done, then you're satisfied. Because, you know, it got through something hard. Hi, Dad. This is JJ. Oh, fine. Oh, it's great. Yeah. We played a game tonight. Let them, yeah, tonight. And we uh, lost by one point, but, you know, softball. Whole camp. We had a lot of fun. And the computers are going real nice too. Oh, it's, I made a uh, bridge with graphics. And I'm making a whole big uh, thing. I made the title page. And I made the. Hey, lolly, lolly. 
And the first note here is A, all right? The next note is Hey, Lolly. It's two A's in a row. So you put 73 down twice, okay? Then it goes to an F sharp. Well, what's an F sharp? That's easy. You just look up here. F sharp is 86. So you put that data in. Okay, now you, you ready? Okay, we're going to try something here. Now, could you all listen? On one computer, we have the melody of Hey, Lolly, Lolly. The other computer, we have the rhythm, just the chords. And we're going to try to synchronize them. That means they're both going to have to go hit return at the same time. Ready, set, go. I think the kids are having a lot of fun this summer because they're able to put their ideas into the computer. You see, the thing is, when they came to camp, they wanted to use computers in college. They wanted to be able to use it in the business world. Extreme practical reasons to be there. And yet, they're using it now as a tool for their own personal expression. I came here with the goal to make a kid feel good about himself and to feel positive in his attitude towards a computer. You know, a computer can't be a scary thing. And I feel, watching these kids, I feel that I've come close to my goal. I feel good about what I've done. I think I've done my job. I think that when they, if they look back upon this summer, 10, 20, 30 years from now, they're not going to remember all of the, the commands, perhaps. Maybe if this is the last time they're going to see a computer. But I, I bet you they never forget what they programmed. <laughs>